Got some fresh coffee. Got some oatmeal with bananas. And a great view. Sitting here at the nice little picnic table. I've just spent one, maybe two hours wood carving. And once again, the sun has come out. There's a lot of blue sky. Just so lucky. I think I've only done like 15 kilometers today. But yeah, if I come across a forest like this, I gotta check it out. We're leaving the Alps behind now. Goodbye and until next time. All right, so here's also a good trick that I've been using all these past days in the afternoon when you can see the sun when it's not fully clouded up so now the gopro is kind of where my eyes are you can see my hand fits about two times between the sun and the horizon and for each hand that fits between the sun and the horizon um, you got one hour till sunset, so right now it should be two hours till sunset. And of course that trick is just a rule of thumb, so depending on the time of year and time of day that varies. And I bought a really cool new crunchy fruit cereal today that I really wanted to try out. So yeah, just had to do that really quick. I really like the smell of these rapeseed fields. Yeah, I don't know, it just always reminds me of like early summer. setting yeah and I've been checking out a lot of these areas by the Oyster River here it's a lot of nature protection areas don't want to disturb the animals that are nesting here and all that stuff so yeah hopefully I'll find something for me to nest also <laughs> There's flower petals flying through the air. It's such a nice and warm evening right now. what I found. It's a little official fireplace area. I think I must have been sitting here for an hour. Um, I'm just like tending to the fire, moving the woods around. It's so entertaining. Fire is just uh, 
it's a mystery. I could just do this for hours. You know, it's, uh, it doesn't ever get boring. I'm not even reading anything, and I, I don't feel bored at all. I'm just having so much fun here, just sitting here, watching the sticks burn to embers, and I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get too hungry. It's just good. Once again, I probably spent a couple hours wood carving and reading at the spot back there where I woke up so that in the end I had a second breakfast and I really like those slow mornings where you just take your time, you know, mornings just have a real nice energy. really well rested right now and at peace I would say and excited for some cycling and I will reach the black forest today so excited for that I've been missing that place drizzling a little bit it's been drizzling all day but for the past hour uh, it was really heavy rain and yeah I'm just uh, kind of glad that it rained it's a it's a cool teaching once again um, you know these things like being soaked having cold hands water falling on my head right now those are like just things that are happening, you know, and my mind has learned over years and years to label it as something bad. When rain is just water falling from the sky, that's why I'm saying I'm glad to have this teaching because I see that my mind keeps coming back and saying, oh, this is bad, this is, this sucks. And, but after all, I'll be sleeping in a dry tent tonight, so there's really no threat to my physical health at all today. Um, at least not from the rain, you know. Always gotta watch out for the cars also. And, you know, it's easy to read these things and like, oh yeah, I, you know, I get it, just change your mind and stuff. But, so that's why I'm happy that it's raining today because I can see how my mind reacts and enjoying the world as it is right now and right now there seems to be like little wet things from falling from the sky into my head that's cool you know it's something that I can feel and sense it's a nice thing so Look at all these plants just totally benefiting from the rain and being happy about it. Oh, nice. Anyways, I am um, 10 kilometers from the border to Germany. I'm here at some sort of archery place. They've got a little storage hut here where I've had my lunch and it's probably been over an hour now since I've sat here it's a lot of water coming down for sure it's 
take a cold shower with clothes on, I guess. <laughs> so, update. First of all, it's not raining that much anymore. And I just had a bit of a challenge. I looked at the bicycle signs, you know, there's also a lot of bicycle signs uh, here in Germany. And none of the signs included those villages that I wrote down on my little map. And naturally, when I asked people, yo, where's this tiny town, <laughs> where's this tiny town, they couldn't tell me. I asked a lot of people. So then uh, my solution was I cycled to the big train station in Tingen. And uh, at the train station, there was like a bus net map. There were like lines between all the bus stations in relation to each other. And just in case I would forget, I wrote down some of the names of the towns. I copied those from the bus map. But man, I love those challenges. Like that's why oh, I think it's so cool traveling without the phone. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. I lost the way just a little bit. I wanted to follow the river in that valley and now I'm up here. Well, it's about sunset time. I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. Oh, there's some more signs. Maybe some good information. Uh -huh. Look at this. It's an actual map. First one I've seen today. And it says also exactly where I am. Wow, this is really good. Bumpy ride, but really beautiful. Yo, I found the coolest place ever. It's probably the most beautiful place I have ever been to in the Black Forest. It's getting dark and can't wait to explore this tomorrow and then I can make some better videos. Wow, 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 look at my guest tonight. What? It's a salamander. So beautiful. So I think this is only the second time in my life that I've seen a salamander. <laughs> it's chilling right here in my tent. Now we've got this beautiful beetle of the Cool Culionine subfamily crawling inside of my tent. I gotta give him a lift outside. Get it. I've already had breakfast and yeah, I'm just gonna chill in my tent a bit longer. Let's see if this absolute monsoon rain is gonna stop anytime soon um, yeah until then I'll just be reading a bit this keeps going I might just have to have a second breakfast we'll see yesterday night the water from this creek was crystal clear and right now because of all the rain you know there's much more water coming down from the mountains and it's taking with it all the dirt <laughs> gotta get my drinking water from somewhere else now
Check out the size of this tree. <laughs> friend again. Look at him. This is little home baby. This forest down there where I slept, I really can't see any signs of logging whatsoever. I think it must have been left to itself for at least a hundred years. It definitely has some old growth forest qualities. I just found it by accident, you know, it was getting dark and I just wanted to hop in the next forest that I could find. I found this absolute gem. Oh wow, <laughs> look at that, there's even some blue sky out there. Also no signs of logging, just an, an oak forest, that's nice. What a lovely world to be alive in. <laughs> I feel like I don't just find these places for no reason. It's gifts. Always gotta be respectful to these surroundings. It's also a way to show thankfulness. Give thanks to every plant and rock and mushroom and salamander around here for existing. And wishing them well. Man, I know. I gotta start cycling, I got 65 kilometers to get home, but... Hey, look at those rocks. <laughs> I really want to get up there. And... Yeah, I guess if that's what my heart tells me, I just gotta do it. That's my intuition. And got a feeling. Great. Oh, I see some big rocks up there. <laughs> Actually, just follow this path and see if it goes down anywhere. 
Ah, oh, look at this. I found a rock overhang where there's actually enough space to sleep in. And just check it out how old this one must be. All the conifers here are firs. So rare for the black forest. Originally, before the humans came, there were a lot of firs here. Such a special forest. So my GoPro died on my little hike. Now I have charged it up again with my power bank. And now I'm riding through the Schwarza Tal. Schwarza is the name of the river down there. And the whole Schwarza Valley is a Bannwald. So like a completely protected zone. Just nature unfolding itself and it's a huge valley there's so much of this old growth forest looking forest here wow i'm loving it check this out you can see that um several hundred years ago Probably there was a bridge here. You see that construction on this side with all the rocks and the construction on this side here. Today is actually the first day of the new semester in university and I should be in a lecture right now. But after all, I'm studying forestry and environmental sciences, so I feel like this is a pretty good alternative. <laughs> and yeah, I'll be back at it in the lectures tomorrow, and I'm very, very excited for that and some new knowledge. This road has just turned into a gravel road. I still got a lot of more uphill to do. And when I reach the Schluchsee, the lake, I don't really know how to get to Freiburg from there. bird out. Birds don't care. Anyway, now I'm gonna enjoy this rainy ride by the Schlossee shore. Oh yeah! Well, the ducks are out singing. And I just found myself a nice hut to have some lunch. I'm 
some bike, got some tables. Lunch break done. Still raining, still cycling. Had a nice conversation with the jogger though. Oh, and I only have 2% on the GoPro left. So, this might be the last <laughs> video of the trip. Well, I'm in the train right now. And yeah, when I arrived at the other side of the lake, it was like quarter past seven. And without a phone, like finding my own way to Freiburg that would have taken me way past sunset and recently I lost my light, my backlight and it was getting quite cold so I'm gonna ride a few stations not this train goes all the way <laughs> to Freiburg but I will just ride a couple of stations until I get somewhere where I know where I am and then finish off the rest and you know I'm not using my phone so that challenge is accomplished getting from the Lago Maggiore to Freiburg without a phone no problem on the bike and on the train and you know also, I could have just camped one more night and finished it by bike tomorrow. Uh, I would have found my way, but yeah, I really want to get back to university lectures starting tomorrow. And yeah, it's not necessary to miss another day, but yeah, feels right. I'm very happy to be in a warm train right now so nice um, yeah excited to get home and what a glorious end to this trip so that's it that was the trip and I guess I just wanted to say a few more things about that trip looking back um, it has been now exactly half a year since I've started on that trip now I'm here in the forests of Finland. So this journey that I did back in spring was not just about being without the phone, it was also a trip that I did alone by myself. So by being alone and being without the phone you really create a beautiful space where you can leave who you are at home in a way and, and where you can just be in the world. You're free to take in all the surroundings much more deeply with much less attachment you know and because when you don't have your phone with you and you're not talking to anyone then you know what are you in the end you're you're just someone something moving traveling through the world taking in experiences and um and just being there so now it's time to walk a little bit through the forest by myself looking for some mushrooms and most important of all just enjoying to be a human alive on earth have a wonderful day